here at TechCrunch Disrupt here with uh, Neural Defense. And who are you? I'm Dushant, and I'm the founder of Neural Defense. Our domain name is neural.ai, and we're looking at banking security using deep learning. So, so you hacked the bank, right? Right, so we've helped hack the biggest banks in the world, and we've helped them fix those flaws. So all these were zero-day attacks where the banks had no idea on all these flaws, and they were really surprised and happy that we actually reported these flaws to them. So you hacked HSBC? Kind of. <laughs> How? What did you hack? What? So we found something called a replay attack in them. That means if you're transferring money from Alice to Bob, as the hacker sitting in the middle, I can replay it 10 times and make it 100 pounds. Or in some of the other prominent Indian banks, if you're transferring money from A to B, I could divert it to a random person D and change the amount. So make it a million pounds and send it to someone else. So, um, and you say there was you... one more interesting oh. hack. So if both of us share the same mobile number, like yours is plus 4412345, and mine's plus 9112345, I could get complete access to your account. So that's the state of security today. So you say you want to use neural network right. to make security, how? So banking API data is really structured. So for example, you have your from account to account, and that's how data passes between the mobile and the server, or the website and the server. So we're using long short-term memory neural networks to detect what looks normal over time, like over 100,000 requests, and then infer abnormalities when hacks are happening. So that's the plan. All right, and but you want to go elsewhere with your neural uh, security system? So we already incorporated in the US also. So we're looking at uh, the two, like three markets. So one is the US, the UK, and India, because we have all the networks in India. And uh, UK, we're already in touch with Santander, Barclays, HSBC. And uh, we also know Julius Bar in Zurich. And we're talking to banks in the US now. Just banks? But yeah. how about other things? So we can also extend the same tech can be used to defense, IoT, and healthcare and general tech companies, wherever you have structured data, but banks, going to banks first gives us focus because we get the big players involved, and banks are losing money every day. So just last week, Tesco Bank was hacked. So that's why we're looking at banks right now, because of the huge spend on bank, on security.